What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Alex over here out in the sun because this time I can't work up there and as you can see I received the hitch receiver for my 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander. I want to see if I can put it on. It's supposed to be a non-drilling thing so it's supposed to be just bolted on. I'm gonna see if I can work in there because it is freaking hot right now but we'll see the reason i got this one and not the oem is because it's like half the price and before i actually put it in i want to kind of like dry fit it and make sure it's on it's not gonna show up except for the actual receiver thing so let me go ahead and do just that at this point if you haven't done so please go ahead and consider subscribing if you like to support the channel there's a link for you to buy me a cup of coffee other than that let's ride if you thought this wasn't a mountain bike video you're right but look got mountain bike parts over here <laughs> let's do this well first of all the box did came in damage on the sides I guess and that's what's gonna hook up to the to the chassis and also on that other side came with a hole where the receiver comes out that's the damage on the box but the inside looks decent so let's see let me take this out and set it up right here all right, so this is what it looks like out of the box. You can see a little scratch right there and scratches on this side where the box was damaged. Nothing major and I bet, I bet the hardware is in here. Let me open that up. So yeah, it does come with the hardware, instructions and everything. And by the looks of this picture, it's gonna be exactly what I'm looking for. So this is the only thing that I wanted to show up instead of all the tube being seen from the bottom or from behind. This is the only thing that is gonna show up. That's what I'm hoping for. Let's go ahead and put this on. Okay, so I'm under the car right now and it, the instruction says to lower the exhaust by removing the three of these, one on this side, the one on the other side. And apparently there's another one back there those just slide over i heard from somebody on a forum that they didn't have to do this however that was on an oem hitch i'm gonna see if i can do this without taking them off and this is actually gonna these are threaded pre-threaded right here this hole and then two more over here and same thing on the other side this is where these things are gonna go so basically you're gonna have a washer and the bolt like this this is a three quarters and then it'll thread just straight into the chassis all right so i got the driver's side on without removing the exhaust i just kind of went this way right here and then just put them with my hands they're supposed to be three one two and another one even deeper i'm gonna come back and put in the three of them that they're just like right there for now to hold them so i can go to the other side now this is the other side this one goes in super easy there you go just enough to hold it in place Put the other two and then come back with the ratchet and tighten this baby up
driver's side done as well tighten up and that thing is done and you can even see it complete OEM look it only shows the receiver part look at that this is just perfect I think I paid like $250 or something like that on eTrailer.com that's the only thing that shows up exactly what I wanted now the OEM was like $585 at the dealer because I asked now I don't have to you don't have to pay for that you already have one that somebody else has done you can go ahead and order this one from eTrailer.com dropping the exhaust was not necessarily I was able to just slide it in no problem and now I'll be able to put in the bike hitch receiver into my Outlander no problems we even tow because the towing capacity i think is like 2300 pounds or something like that you should have no problems i hope you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please subscribe other than that that is it for this one see you on the trails goodbye